and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, sponsored by The Last Man Standing with LoserPool.com. On this very short video today, I'll be talking about the possibility of Edu returning to Arsenal. Now, of course, there are widespread reports that Edu is set to return to North London as the club's new technical director on a five-year deal. The Brazilian made 127 appearances for the club between 2001 and 2005 and will be forever remembered as an invincible. Now, if we're to believe the reports, Edu has been a long-standing target for the Arsenal hierarchy who are said to have been keen on securing his services even prior to the departure of Sven Mislinta and the pursuit of of Monchi. He's currently the national coordinator of the Selesau and James Benj reported that the club felt he could not be tempted away uh, earlier on in the season. However, that could change after this summer's Copa America. Now, Brazil hosts the tournament in the summer and that would mean if the club were to secure his services, it would be slightly later in the summer than they probably would have liked in an ideal world. Um, so what's Edu been up to since he left Arsenal and why are the club said to be keen on getting him in the door? Well, having left the club on a free transfer back in 2005, Edu joined our Europa League semi-final opponents, Valencia. He made 50 appearances for the Andalusian club, but injury plagued him during his time there. And in 2009, his contract with the club was terminated. Following his time in Spain, the Brazilian returned home to his former club, Corinthians, until December 2011 when by mutual consent his contract was terminated and Edu announced his retirement from professional football. Now Edu's CV as a player is without doubt an impressive one. Two Brazilian titles, a FIFA Club World Championship, two Premier League titles with the Arsenal, two FA Cups with the Arsenal, a Community Shield, a Copa del Rey with Valencia in 2008 and at international level Edu lifted the Copa America in 2004 and the Confederations Cup in 2005. Oh, and did I mention he was the Premier League Player of the Month in February 2004? Now, after his retirement from the game, Edu became Corinthians' director of football, taking over from William Mercado and assisted Carlos Quiros's Iran side at the 2014 World Cup. Now, under Edu's oversight, Corinthians won the Copa Libertadores, which is the Champions League equivalent in South America. And Brazil have improved under the coaching of Tite, who also worked with Edu at Corinthians. Of course, as I've already mentioned, Edu now part of the Selecao setup. Now, how do I feel about the, uh, the link with Edu and the, the potential story that he could be returning to the club? Well, firstly... I'm always happy to welcome back most of the Invincibles with open arms. Of course, there are a couple of exceptions to that rule. Secondly, you'd hope that Edu's extensive knowledge of the South American market would give us an advantage over some of our rivals when it comes to recruitment. It's clear that we can't compete or won't compete financially with some of those clubs. So to be able to cherry pick talent from Brazil before the wider world have their sights set on those players... Well, you'd think that would help us close the gap, wouldn't it? So I can only see that being a positive. Of course, he knows the club. He's won trophies here. And we could do with somebody around the place to remind these players of what it means to win in an Arsenal shirt. He's a football man. We don't have many of those in the club's hierarchy. I think everybody uh, would agree on that. I'm all for it. Get the deal done because it's clear we lack structure behind the scenes or the right structure anyway. And more importantly, as I've already said, football men. Edu is certainly a football man. Let me know your thoughts on this story. Could Edu be returning to North London to take over as Arsenal's technical director? And if so, what are your thoughts on it? Leave it in the comments below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll be back with more very shortly. Until then, take care.